Oh my gosh. Hello, we are Katie and Scott. Our goal is to make it to full-time RV. But in the meantime, we'll have to continue building our life, this time older and wiser. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. We had a great response to the last video, a lot of good feedback, um, a lot of positive comments. And we just had so many things to show you from the RV show. We thought we'd go ahead and cut another quick video and discuss some of the things that we liked a lot and we thought were interesting, but weren't really uh, for us. Right, right. There were a lot of things that we saw that we said, ooh, that's really cool, or someone else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we were really hoping that we'd find a Grand Design layout that worked for us for the future. We know that they do have a couple of the mid-bunk layouts, but they didn't have any at the RV show. No. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Um, however, we did find this reflection fifth wheel. Yes. It was really cool. It had two really um, unique features, things that we hadn't seen before. Uh, one of them was a giant outdoor kitchen. I, we've seen big outdoor kitchens before, but this was different in that the kitchen came out of the, the front storage area and wrapped around and made an L shape. Mm -hmm. Another thing was the under storage, the garage. That was crazy. We walked into this thing and to the left side was the living room and it went up and to the right side was the bedroom area and bathroom area and that went upstairs. And then underneath the living area was this massive garage. It was, I've never seen anything like it before. No, uh, we we were kind of blown away. Mm -hmm. We're like, what? What? Yeah. What is this? Oh, you could put so much stuff under there. It's not a toy hauler. No. But you could put kayaks, smaller things like that would totally fit under there. Right. It's got a lot of storage around the edges. It mm -hmm. almost makes a U-shape around the garage area. And then it has a tray that rolls flat out. It doesn't tilt down, or at least it didn't look like it did. It just rolls flat out right. for easy access. Um, I mean, we could fit at least three, four, five toddlers in there. No problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, we only had one with us, but yes, but he enjoyed it. it. So along that same line where there were other trailers that didn't meet our needs, but we thought were really cool or had some great layouts was this Jayco. Like I said last time, Jayco wasn't a brand we looked at much, uh, but the interior finishes on this one were phenomenal. Oh my gosh, the cabinetry was awesome. It had uh, this island that had wood on the top and underneath the island, the storage space was accessible from both sides, which I loved. The rear kitchen was so great. It was big, it was bright, had all these great windows. I fell in love with it. Yeah, it was, it was super great. This was luxurious. It was, yes. Another trailer that really caught our attention was this Cherokee by Forest River. Not a brand we'd heard of before, but as we walked by, we saw it had these gorgeous floor to ceiling windows. They were amazing. And then when we walked in, you were blown away. I was, I've never seen a kitchen like that in a trailer before. The kitchen was in the front and it was its own little oasis. It was fantastic. The cabinets and the counters wrapped from the front to the side to the interior. And there was so much counter space. I, I fell in love, I did. The only downside was that the cabinets on the top also came around and not only did it kind of block the view into the living area, but it was in my opinion a head trauma waiting to happen. And you were really impressed by a lot of the design choices yes. that they're, the manufacturers have right now. Right. So I am not a fan of dark colors in my living spaces and we saw a ton of light colors white cabinets, light gray, and a ton of really neat LED lighting everywhere. Underneath couches, around sinks, counters, you name it, they had it. And I was super happy to see that. Yeah, it really the it really brightened everything up and made things seem bigger. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up now. If you missed the last video, there's a link somewhere above our heads. Um, so check it out and thanks for tuning in. Right, and please, um, if you like our videos, click the like button down below. That really helps us figure out what we're doing right. Um, leave us some comments. Let us know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like, anything that you wanna see in the future. 
as we said last time, there's a lot of stuff we've got coming up. Um, and we're going to keep working to, to put out good content that, that you guys will enjoy. Um, and also, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, we appreciate all of our subscribers. You get notifications of when our videos come out. Um, that means a lot to us. So thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And until next time. See you later.